Okay, there's a bunch of fun events at this year's Friendship Fest, and keeping up with tradition, we have a fishing derby, none other than, I don't know what we call this, a lagoon, a pond, an irrigation area, but it, it is really cool, it's stocked with fish. We're gonna find out some of the people involved in this and what this is really all about. And you, sir? My name is John Vanna, I'm the Scoutmaster for Troop 324 out of Urban A. Excellent, and John, and next? My name is Sharon, I am a Scoutmaster for the girls uh, part of 324. Okay. Um, so this morning, first of all, beautiful morning. I know you guys had something to do with the weather as well. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, brief history of this event and then how the scouts are involved in it? The scouts are involved in it every year. Okay, that's what I thought. Every year, same date, isn't it? The 28th of okay. June every year. But this is the first year that we've actually had tacked fish. For, okay. for a money for a money price. Okay, that, that kicks the stakes up a oh, little it bit. Does. We've been much busier. How's the participation been, John? Oh, well, I've been doing this for five years and every year it keeps increasing and this really? is our biggest year so far. I'm and impressed. we've got over seventy four fishermen that came out today. Okay. Earlier we saw your daughter and uh, she had uh, her, her other team member with her, had her tape measure, they had the spiral notebook. Kind of what that's all about when somebody pulls pulls a fish out. What's what goes on? Well, what they're to do is to measure the fish, right. take the child's number okay. for the prizes. Because we have prizes here, we give out at 10.30 and at noon Okay. for the biggest fish, the smallest fish, the tagged fish. Yeah, the most fish. Yeah, a child with red hair. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, various <laughs> things, the craziest I hair, love the child you know? with red hair. That's... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Last one we did, right? Last year they got a I, frog. I, they got a prize for a oh, frog. Oh, hey, yeah. you know, yeah. you're. I saw mean, these guys are ready for anything that comes out of that water. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't count. <laughs> yeah. right. Anyhow, I know you're kind of busy. You got your table going on, and you got your yeah. teams going around measuring. We want to thank you so much for stepping up to the mic, kind of telling us what's going on. And it's a great event. People love it and talk about it all the time. So we wanted to get to you guys and and talk about all it. Right, so thank you. I'm gonna grab a hand, both of you. God bless, take care, have a great day. Have a yeah. great Friendship Fest, and we're gonna be moving on to see what else is going on. All right. Okay, so we're walking through this awesome car show right here at Friendship Fest 2019. Uh, we're kind of partial to Fords, and I uh, once in a while when you see a Mustang that's out, out and above, well, we, we want to know more about it. So we got the owner right here, and your name is? Logan Pence. Logan, uh, I walked up to you off camera, and I was talking about those taillights uh, and uh, the possibility you might go change them to sequential, but uh, what was the original idea uh, to, to add the extra the extra bank of lights on each side. Well, the owner that owned it before me, he was trying to give it the old Mercury Cougar look with, right. the, with the rear end. So that's where the, the six lights came from because he he must have owned a Mercury or a Cougar at some point and he wanted to put it into his Mustang that he owned. Okay, I'm digging that. Now, uh, the paint is beautiful on this car. Is uh, It looks like an original Ford color, but did they, is this a redone or? Yeah, it's actually been done at least once for me at least. Uh, actually, the owner that owned it before me, it was turquoise. He painted okay. it black for some reason. Then he put it back to turquoise. Okay. Then I had to repaint it turquoise because it started to chip away. Yeah, uh, the metallic level in that turquoise is excellent. And really got it uh, buffed out really nice, nice. Can we walk to the front? I'm kind of yeah. interested in what's underneath the hood. Yeah. I kind of like the suspension, the, like the chrome reverse wheels on, and, and, and the, like the baby moons too. Yeah, I get such a mixed re reaction when it comes to the rims. Some people love them, and then some people are like, man, you need to get up to five spokes on there. I mean, I just get mixed reactions when it comes I, to my rims. I don't know. This has got a nice old school feel yeah. to me, and I like it. Yeah. I, I like even the suspension modifications where it's a little bit higher in the back. Yeah, I've always kind of like having the rear, you know, yeah. up in the air a little, so I had to add, add air shocks and all that good stuff to it. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, anyhow, let's. Uh, I uh, I was look, looked in here earlier before we came up, and give me a little bit of story on this power plant, cubic inch displacement, and such. Well, it used to be a 289 when I bought it. Um, it lasted me about a year, and I was driving home one night, and the motor blew on me. Wow! So we ended up having to get it rebuilt, and I bumped it up to a 302, just to give it a little bit more yeah, power. Okay. So since I mean it was in pieces anyway, so yeah, that's the time to do it. Yeah. You know. 
Sorry, did it go together? Your rebuild go together okay? And yeah, I, and yeah, I went to and a guy, yeah, I went to a guy in Kankakee and he literally, you know, stripped it all down and you know only replaced what he truly had to replace in it. Okay. So, all right. so. let me step back and take a look at that front end and see if there's any anything interesting there. Okay. So is this a and, and and during the summer months, is this uh, like a daily driver a little bit, or do you get to it, enjoy this? Car? It used to be a daily driver for me, driving to work all the time back sure. in the day. But then I got to the point I actually got another car. So I just during the summer, you know, I go to cruises, the cars. Oh show. yeah, absolutely. So if it's a nice day out, I'll pull it out and drive it. But I don't drive it every single day like I used to a couple of years ago. But but if it's nice out, it's definitely out. Okay. And last for our cameraman's on the interior of the car, uh, what what kind of tranny are you running in there? Uh, I'm not 100% on the tranny. I know it's the original whatever came okay, in this that's, car. Okay, that's what but, I'm looking for. Okay. But yeah, I haven't modified or changed anything it, with that. It so. handles what this new 302 can yeah. dish out, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, at that, I want to thank you for stepping up. I know we got you off the lounge chair back oh, there and you good. were chilling. Yeah. Uh, but the car looks so damn good. I thought, hey, I got I to gotta come up and meet this guy. So no I'm going to grab a hand. Yeah, thank you, sir. And uh, best of luck every time you drive and show this car. All right, thank you. All right. I don't want to interrupt in your yeah. artistic genius, but <laughs> the purse you have is not matching your outfit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I always get sweats whenever I have to match my my outfits. I no, I didn't. I <laughs> we're, we're doing a video for the, but please carry on because you're very photogenic anyhow. Oh, so, uh, but no, I came up to him and I said I, I hate to interrupt your artistic genius. He doesn't think that my but, purse. But but your purse doesn't oh. match your outfit. Yeah. You know, like, I figured to get the camera to shake a little bit anyhow. <laughs> anyhow, you know, hey, are you rolling? Let's get some names just for the hell of it here, okay? And the photographer is? Matt Johnston. Matt, okay. And the model is? Not model. Jamie Bernadette. Don't let Jamie fool you. She's, she's done a lot of covers and stuff, I'm sure, you know. All of that. Sports Illustrated, I think, you know, I, I seem to remember something. Where are you guys from? Uh, Ashcombe. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Up here for the for the event type thing? Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Jamie lives in California. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm here for a family reunion. I'm from here. Okay, yeah. wow. So how do you feel when you come back to, is it the Ashcombe area? Or? Come back home? Yeah. Um, yeah, home. it's, I love it. I love my hometown. Always really? Kind of never forget will. it in your heart oh, type totally, thing? Oh, totally, yeah. I absolutely love it. So what kind of stuff are you into in California, if I can ask? Um, I'm an actress. <laughs> See, it's... Okay, and she probably has a sad card too, and she's probably been in a couple of movies already, and she's bluffing us completely here. Right? No, seriously, great. Uh, how long have you been at that art form? I'm sorry. Um, Lauren. like 13 years I've been out there. Okay. Yeah. Is it, because we have friends out there getting into uh, choreography and stuff like that that came from the area we came from, mm -hmm. which is in Northern Illinois, around by I, where I-80 meets I-57, and they're, we always hearing from them, it's tough, it's mm -hmm. hard. They saved a bundle of money, bundle of money before they went out there because you don't always, and everybody's got their daytime job. How do you fear? How do you fit into all that? I mean, I mean, I guess when I started, yeah, I had to have a daytime job, but not at this point. Wow, my yeah. hat's off to you. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. So I think if you persist in anything in life, eventually something will break. Okay, and I promised my last question. When you were in high school, did you try out for all the plays and the musicals and all that stuff? Or? Some of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever front a, a rock band or a local band or anything like that? No, I don't sing. Okay. I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some karaoke now. No, just no. Right. <laughs> Here. And if your if her agent is looking at home, you know, it's really nice. <laughs> don't worry about it. We're not gonna. Anyhow, I'm gonna grab a hand. Yeah, you guys great. have been thank great sports. So Welcome yeah. home. Thank you. And enjoy your family reunion. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Bye now. Well, that was a nice surprise, right? Here we are, friendship fest, and you never know who you're gonna run into.
Okay, one of the awesome things at Friendship Fest is, uh, well, there's many awesome things, but I really, really like the car show. This year they had that, they had a raffle, they had, well, you know what, I'm going to let this man talk about it because I think he put it all together. Thank and you. your name is? I'm Bill Paracas with Meineke. Nice to meet you. Absolutely, Bill. Uh, this was enjoyed by everybody. Uh, it's kind of uh, winding down a little bit now, but tell us what happened today at the car show and what other events around it. Well, you know, we really wanted to have a fest within a fest. Okay. So we wound up having the Southside Hooligans play. We had Rhodes Racing Promotions bring out a race car simulator for everybody to try for free. And then everybody came in with an entrance fee. By the time we were done, we wanted to make sure we gave some charity some money. So sure. Caleb's Prayer got a benefit from the show. Wow. Everything was great. So really great to be here. We've been sponsoring the show. Well, we've been sponsoring the show for about four years. We've been a title sponsor of the Friendship Festival for the same amount of time. Really happy to be here. Okay. You, he, he's so good at this. He got my next three questions. But uh, hats off to you on that. Um, there was some worries uh, earlier, uh, forecasting, possibly rain. What do you think? Quite frankly, we've got a little devil in a jar. We did a little dance, <laughs> everything's fine. No, there, there was no chance of rain today. A little mad, this is beyond magic. Anyhow, the other thing I want to tip my hat to you for is that, that race car simulator, brilliant idea to get it here. It had a lot of popularity. The adding to the live music instead of like a DJ playing here yeah. off the top. And we talked to a couple of these these car owners and truck owners. You got some nice hardware out here. These guys really did a great job. You know, we wanted to have a nice venue. Sometimes it's tough when we're out in the field because some of these guys have 70, 80, 100 grand put in these cars. Oh, absolutely. They ride low to the ground, but this was perfect this year. Yes. It was dry. We had a great way to come in and out. It was really a fun time by all. And at that, I'm going to give this man a handshake because it's another successful year. The only trouble is, how the hell are you going to top this next year? I don't know. Right now. Well, you know, maybe next year we'll have over 100 cars and there'll be that much more to see. There you go. The forever optimist, and that's the way you got to be in this business. Okay, stay with us. we got more coming from Friendship Fest. This is take number two. Go run, baby. But you know, seriously, folks, this is the kind of fun you have at Friendship Fest. We're, we're kidding around off camera here. Uh, our cameraman's Roland Dave Paniski, owner of AC Variety. And we're having fun here, but you know what? This is Friendship Fest. This is what it's about. It's it. And, uh, and roll. we're going to, if this, if this usual crew looks the same, it's because they are, <laughs> they and, are and for good same. reason, the quality of this festival. The, the, in the area of the, uh, the, the River Valley area and the, and the draw it has is because of this team. And we're going to find out one more time who they are. And I'm Bob ahead, Steinke. I'm Bob. the chairman of the festival. Okay, next. It's Jerry Downs, entertainment director. Okay. Doug Wheeler, main stage sponsor for First Community Insurance and Annuity Center. Okay, he got that all in. And if yeah, you see that yeah. banner over our heads, you yeah. see it again too. Right. Bob, I, we, for our first time we came here last year and we're blown away with what this fest is all about. You were kind enough to invite us a second year. We covered even more stuff. I am blown away with, first of all, what is it, 42 years? 44 years. 44 years. Yeah. Wow. Just don't know what to do, don't know what to say. Uh, how does it, you know, how does it get any better than this? I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be flooding you with compliments, but. Oh, uh, no, we, we just enjoy it. You know, when the weather's right, it's a lot easier. Yeah. You know, okay. Mother Nature's been kind to us this year. Okay. So that, that's helped a lot this year. Uh, thoughts that come to mind in, in, in the years that you've been involved in it, uh, uh, compared to like this year or previous years, uh, when you lead up to the fest in day one, you still get that, you still get that rush that it's running, let's get this thing rolling? Or? Uh, you know, it's exciting to get started. Okay. And then once that Ferris wheel spinning, it, uh, it, then we're ready to go. Okay. It I seems gotcha. like the problems kind of go away. I would say between the vendors that are here, the carnival that's here, uh, the other activities that goes on that we love and we saw earlier, the stuff you do with the veterans, to juggle all that and get it and to get it precise is beyond me. You know, it's a little bigger team than what you're looking at here. Right. You know, right. during the festival we probably have 100 volunteers. I hear you. So okay. there's, it takes a lot of people, but the biggest key is every one of them want to treat people, so they want to come back next year. And part of the reason they come back next year is this festival is known for its entertainment. The bands that go up on that stage, what those bands sound like when they're playing, it's all good quality stuff, it's good sound. This is an intricate reason why. Your name again, sir? Uh, I'm Jerry Downs. Jerry. Oh, well, we have some great doing? bands. Oh, we've been very lucky. Uh, we found bands that are moving up to the top, and we get them here before everybody else gets them, and, and bring a lot of local bands in here. We have some great talent in this area. I, it's my understanding. So many words said. I'm, yes. 
without and, sounding and, and arrogant. And that's being modest. There is a lot of talent <laughs> in this is, area. Yes, there is. And this is a great venue that you, you give them a chance to come out and play in front of a big crowd. Huh? It's always and that, a big that's crowd. part of it, too. Yeah. You know, It uh, certainly is, and it's free. Yeah. How do you, you got beat that? that? Right you can't beat free. And I'm going to jump over to you because that, that's a beautiful stage every year. I know he's busy. Uh, i got to get back on stage. The sponsorship on that stage and First Community, you know, uh, out of the ballpark. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate you saying that. You know, Bob said the festival is what, 43 years, 40, 44. 44 years. So I've been out at this festival with the exception of a couple when my wife has some health problems for over 30 years. Wow. And we stood in a tent over there and, and invited people to talk about insurance over and over and over again. And before long, it moved a little bigger and a little bigger, and now we're able to be the main stage. And, and what I want to say is it's the people that come out to the Bourbon A Friendship Festival and call First Community that help us help put this on. Okay. It's, the, it's not me standing out here. It's, it's the people that come out that allow us to be able to invest back into our community in this kind of way. And we have a heck of a time, man. Yeah, really. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling we you. We have a party. That's one of the things I wanted to go back to Bob before he walks away, because I know you guys are awesome busy, but uh, we talked on this last year, and it's even even bigger this year, and as much as families are out here, the, the kids, grandpa, grandma, aunts, uncles. I'm going I'm to tell you this, just, we, we interviewed someone earlier today that's an actress in Los Angeles that came back their hometown here for this fest. Right. We actually talked to her earlier today. Well, that's what we do. You know, this morning there was a fishing derby. There was a six-year-old yes. little girl that won $300 because no. she caught a tag fish. Okay. You know, how awesome is that with a cane pole? You know, it bent that's the pole in half. That's she was, old school. Oh, yeah. No, it was awesome. You know, we have everything from, you know, from adult entertainment all the way down, you know, the kids and the rides and for every age. And I might say, to, say also, if, if you have a hunger for anything, the venue out there, the food venues, you think of it, it's you can buy it here and eat right. it. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of food out there. I, I always tell Bob that if you can't come out here and find some fun, <laughs> you are a dud. You're just a dud. Either that or okay. check your pulse. Just, you're, you're, a dud. <laughs> you're a dud. But uh, we have a great time, and there is something for everybody. We have, you know, we have the great beer tent. Absolutely. The beer's cold. It's fun. But you know what's the most important? Some people don't go for that. They, so we have a special space for them to right. come out, and they can bring their kids where it's safe. We have great fire and police that are on point. Those guys don't get to come party with us. They're on duty, and, and it's a safe environment for people to bring their families from all over Chicagoland. I, I agree with you on that, and, and the, the aspect, that we touched on this last year too, that you have an area for, if you don't want to have a few drinks and you want to enjoy the music of the band, you get that, you get it for yeah. free. They have a special area that's secure, fun, family oriented there's very few festivals that, that offer that to their to their patrons well, I appreciate know. you saying that thanks. no and, and God bless you keep on thanks, doing thanks, it man. You know. thanks we will any before we go uh, any last thoughts of, of uh, where do you where do you want to go into 2020 with this or everything's gonna get bigger and better well I, I mean you know every year I, we improve and, and frankly I don't know how much it can get bigger and better because it's great right now but that's the kind of attitude we have here it's gonna you know that's just it's, we're never going to give up. It's going to be the best, and it is the best. We have people taking notes every day. Okay, next year we're going to do go. this. Next year we're going to, you know, we have that happening every day. All right, so. Bob. At this point, I want to grab a hand. Thank you. It's been a it's been a great 2019. This 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 festival's one of the best we've ever attended. And my hats off to you and your team. Again, you. main stage guy. Thanks for coming out, Love guys. It. You bet. First Community Insurance and Annuity Center. Give us a call, okay? Okay. Love you guys. All right. Stay with us, we got more coming. We got some bands coming up on that stage. The first band in the 21 and over category here at the Battle of the Bands 2019 at the Bourbon A Friendship Festival. Proud to introduce Cold Room Theory.
second best I saw the world crashing all around your face Never realized it was always as a place I'll stop the world out now with you And it's getting better all the time There's nothing you and I won't do I'll stop the world and play with you Dream of better lives, the kind which never hate Trapped in a state of imaginary grace the same the human race Never realizing the race is wrong Gonna try, I'll stop the world and I'll you Stop the world, you see the difference And it's getting better all the time There's nothing you and I want to
get hot in this thing, man. Woo! It's feeling good. It's hot. There's some hot people out there, too. Yeah, some some good looking, there. Like good looking judges out there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That guy from the hat there. All of them saying cool. Chris, let's show these women what you got, huh? Feeling nice. Here we go. some great music I know we certainly did from backstage but you wonder and the battle of the bands how is this possible it's possible when you have sponsorship like this and King Music number one stuff we're gonna get some introductions here and you are yeah Ben King Ben yep. and Danny Evans Danny okay we're laughing a little off camera because I actually thought these guys were brothers at one time and we have do we have another King coming in here the, the, uh, oh no he's he's gesturing to you in the background so it's I'm all the good. Guy. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> I gotta get on stage. All right, we got one one guy going on stage, and we're gonna keep that in there. Anyhow, how long have you been involved with uh, with Friendship Fest and or doing Battle of the Bands, or particularly with this venue? Sure. Yeah, it's uh, been since the '90s. I don't have an exact year wow. on that. Yeah, so it's been away, over 20 years, I believe, that they've been doing it. Now I have obviously been no, obviously that not one, personally. <laughs> But, um, I, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been going on since the uh, 
I think the mid '90s, wow. early to mid '90s, so a long time. Wow. Um, that that old man up there, right there, he started it with uh, his brother Dave, who's no longer wow. with us. But they've okay. been, they started it back in the '90s and been a lot of fun. And they pretty much have done it every year since. There was one or two years, I think, where they something okay. happened. But uh, yes, you were fast. Uh, participation is it? Uh, do you have a lot of when even the announcement comes out for Bale of the Bands? You got a lot of takers. We got people from all over that come out. It's actually pretty cool. The ages, different places. It's it's really cool to have them come out. Okay. And the last thing is uh, the judging. I know you had some independent judges out there. They're uh, scoring points. How does that go? And uh, is there categories? And how does yeah? That there's tons of categories: of vocal performance, musical performance, um, stage present. You know, um, uh, instrumental performance. And they, there's pretty. Uh, you know, points are they they really narrow them down. Yes, yeah, sounds actually, that way. Yeah, and it, it goes by. Uh, I think there's like a thousand points per band, so it's not like one through ten. So they really go into detail. Wow, that's pretty interesting. So yeah, at the end they really have to do some math, but it makes yeah. it makes it accurately. No, accurate it's also a fair. Point. It's a good fair assessment for the band. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, anyhow, I don't know. I know you're any second you guys are going to get called on stage. Oh, so I wanted right. to. I appreciate you taking the no time problem. and stuff and. Problem. Tell us real, real fast, uh, what does King Music offer to the to the public and to uh, people, sure. yeah, people King, here at uh, yeah. Friendship Fest? King Music, we uh, we try to be an all-in-one store. We okay. offer obviously offer lessons, musical lessons from anybody from believe it or not six months to to any adult age, okay. um, any instrument. Um, but we do we sell retail, so we have guitars, amps, awesome. drums, awesome. keyboards, all the band instruments. Um, we repair. He's our band repair technician. Okay. Yeah. So he does. Uh, he works full time. Does all the band repair. We do uh, guitar repair, violin repair. I, I have a drum kit that needs needs a lot of love. So yeah. I'm right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, we try to cover it all, anything. But we love to get people involved with music. Uh, real quick, last Friday we did something called Make Music Day. It's on okay. June 21st every year. Right. And it's basically just about getting people together, playing music, having fun. We set up a tent out in our parking lot outside and uh, Main Street Broadway and just played music all day. It was a great time and got a lot of people involved that we never met before wow. or maybe this first time playing live in front of people. So yeah. a lot of fun. We really get try to get involved with the community playing. playing I music. like the idea of creating an atmosphere to get people to come out of the garages right. and, and let's try it. Let's do it in front right. of an audience. Yeah, yeah, it's what it does for the soul. You can't beat that. Yeah. You know, after you get done playing music, it's like the rest of your day is good. You know, I'm that's with what you we get. That. I'm with you on yeah. that. And at this point, I'm going to grab a hand, both of you guys. Job well done today. Thank you. Thank you very, much. Uh, very impressed with the turnout and the quality of the bands you brought out. If you ever get a chance to see this at Friendship Fest, do it. Uh, if you ever get a chance to stop by King Music, do that too. These guys are awesome. And the, the stage show they put on in Bale of the Bands is equally is good. Okay, stay with us. we got more coming. As we're walking through the area where the veterans have assembled, there's a lot of displays. There's just so much to see, you don't know where to start. But we're coming across a couple of tables here. I'm going to find out from this young lady kind of what's going on in your name. Uh, Lori Sear. Lori, you got a bunch of cool stuff on the table. What's going on? Well, I work for the Village of Bourbonnet, Excellent. and we're working with the Bourbonnet Historical Society to okay. raise money to rebuild the log cabin schoolhouse. Wow. Okay. Um, five years ago, we found the schoolhouse that was inside of the Marcotte House. It was on the corner of Coin and South Main Street. You actually found the architect? The walls were the inside walls? of it. So oh, we wow. had a specialist come and they dismantled the logs. And so we're in the process of raising money to rebuild the log schoolhouse next to the Eternal Home. Well, wow. that is an incredible find. First of all, my hat's off to you guys for, and then capitalizing on the find. What is it going to take to to make this product uh, project happen? We've raised about forty thousand dollars already, and okay. our goal is one hundred and twenty thousand okay. dollars. 
Okay. So what that'll do is it'll create a second museum over on the Bourbon A campus for kids to see what school was like in the 1830s. I was just going to ask you to date me the log cabin. 1836. 1830s? It's a 20 by 20 schoolhouse. Okay. All it had was a little pot belly stove for heat, so in the summertime it was as hot as it was going to be outside. Yes. So it gave that idea that back then school was a privilege and not everyone got to go. You know, well put, too. Uh, you hear that, students at home? <laughs> I feel like you're in AC right now, you know, with the, right. the good lighting and everything else. Absolutely. Imagine yeah. what the lighting was like in your school class. Well, there was no electricity. So exactly. They, so if there was no light coming in from the windows, there was no light inside of the room. Okay, so we're talking kerosene and candles, right? Or? Yeah, there were little candles at every one of their desks, and they used chalkboards, and they sat at a wood, a plank board uh, sitting on a bench. Wow. Again, you hear that, kids? No iPads. I'm pretty sure there was no phones. There. No, their iPad was literally a handheld chalkboard. That's it. There you go. This, you know, if you bring this all back to period classroom, down to those okay. items you just mentioned, there's going to be people all over the Midwest wanting to see this. Absolutely, that's the goal. My hat is off to you on this project, your team, the efforts you're putting forth, and I'm glad we talked to you Wonderful. because this is a special, a very special thing that not everybody can do. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. We couldn't just let the house go away. Absolutely. And I'm getting a vibe here, folks. I'm going to call this a labor of love. Absolutely. So you got yes. me on that? So we're raising money right now. We're selling Lincoln logs for $5 a piece. Old school Lincoln And that's logs. our little way of just raising money one, one log at a time. Okay. Well, at this point, we want to wish you the best of luck on this Thank venture. You. Hopefully, we will we will come back periodically and see how this uh, as as this project goes forward in the next year, two years. Uh, come back and see you, and kind of you know maybe we'll come back for a grand opening. Who knows? That would be wonderful. Okay, I'm going to grab a hand. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We got more coming. Okay, as we're going through the veterans' pop-up tent here, Honor Flight Chicago, we just stumbled on them. I don't know what, what to say. It, they, the program is wonderful. I'm going to let them speak about it. Uh, we're going to let it go right now. And who do we have here, sir? Well, my name's Frank Howenchild. Frank, yes. and who, and your team member here? Kelly Kircher. Kelly and? Jody Deal. Jody. Okay, what's happening today at this table? And then give us a quick overview of Honor Flight Chicago. Okay, today we're here to introduce our, our services to uh, veterans. Here participated in uh, World War II, Korea War, and Vietnam War. Honor Flight takes a uh, donation. We're a 501c3 corporation. Okay. Totally donations on that, but we take our uh, veterans and fly them to Washington, D.C. for the day. At that point, they get to go to the World War II Museum, Korea War Memorial, Vietnam Wall, and uh, they're entertained very nicely during the day. I, I, I don't want to say a lot because it gives it away. Yeah. <laughs> and it I understand, and, and I hope this doesn't get too much away either, and I really think this is a cool part of it, if they still do it. On the airplane, they actually have a mail call. Is that still? Yes, they do. Uh, that. So that we, is, to me, that's awesome, and it's very heart-rendering because of the information that's in the, each individual's packet. Yes, it's a very big, big deal for the veterans, and oftentimes people come back and say they're just teary-eyed when they exactly. get the letters. That's why I didn't want to get into it, because I'm a softy, too. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have everybody here all of a sudden. Anyhow, I'm going to go to the ladies real fast. How's the table uh, uh, that's been uh, rep received and represented today? People come up and talk to you. Kind of what's the feeling? It's a uh, good spirit here. People, Most people have heard of Honor Flight Chicago, right. so they're very interested in getting some applications, getting those filled out, hopefully getting those submitted so we can get more of our veterans. Absolutely. Let's give them a day of honor. And a quick question. Is Southwest Airlines still involved with this? Yes, it is. Okay. Excellent. So... We're going to sum up here real fast, but uh, if you know someone, as a matter of fact, I'll let you say that. If, uh, how would someone that you have a family, a loved one that was a veteran, yep. and some of the uh, some of the declared and undeclared wars that have taken place, you know, what do they do to get a hold of Honor Flight? Well, they can always contact Honor Flight Chicago by looking them up on, uh, by a Google search. There you go. We have okay. Honor Flight Chicago website, um, specific website for our uh, branch on that. And by the way, Chicago Honor Flight's got biggest hub that fights veterans in the country. That. So I can believe that. Little plug for Honor Flight. <laughs> but, um, but website, phone numbers, reach out to us, get your applications in, and put you on the list, and hopefully we'll get you on board. Okay. And at that, I want to thank all of you for your time, stepping up to the mic. We kind of moved you around because the sunlight and everything else, but we appreciate the information and the time you spent with us. And best of luck today 
getting this message out. Okay, thank you for thank you. Thank you. joining us today and most importantly thank you for your service the bourbon a friendship festival will forever be grateful to our veterans and their families although he's humble and wants no recognition i would like to say how thankful i am to my father rory serafini for subsequently putting his heart and soul into this amazing event together as a village and a united family we honor each and every one of you, every single day. <laughs> the best way to truly describe what you have done for us and for our country is to say you have saved our country and you, my friends, have saved our freedom. With all my heart, we thank you. speaker today is United States Army Sergeant Alan Lynch. Sergeant Lynch received the Medal of Honor for heroic actions above and beyond the call of duty in Vietnam. Sergeant Lynch is a brave man, a hero. There is no doubt about that. He saved many lives on the battlefield. In addition to this, he is a kind man, a father and a grandfather. December 15, 1967, changed his life and many others' lives forever. After he left the military, he started a foundation to help veterans and their families through tough times. Last year, his foundation gave out over $125,000 in grants. Over 50 years later, this man continues to save lives. I'm honored to introduce Sergeant Alan Lynch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a what a beautiful, beautiful day, and it's it's not raining. I, I don't know how to act. I didn't have to run from my car. I didn't have to worry about thunderstorms. I don't know. What do we do now? I was building a boat. I called it the ark. But it's great to be here. This is such a beautiful day and to be around my fellow veterans from all wars. I think we've got World War II, Korea, Vietnam, War on Terror, Gulf War, everybody's here. All of our brothers and sisters, everyone who served. You know, our country owes a great debt to us and you've, you've all heard it. If you're a veteran, you've probably heard this a thousand times. Thank you for what you've done. But consider what we have done. Consider what we who serve in the armed forces have done. We have served in the roughest times our country has ever known. 
Coming out of the Great Depression, our fathers fought in World War II. I often laugh at when people were referring to the crash of 2008 as the, you know, like the Great Depression. They have no clue of what the Great Depression was really like. After the Great Depression, we had the Korean War. And a lot of those that served already in World War II, and a lot of those that thought war was done, went over to that country and fought not for empire, but for democracy so that the people of South Korea could live in freedom, and they do. It's often called the Forgotten War because they came home not to the recognition that their brothers that fought in World War II did, they came home alone, many of them, just like we in Vietnam did. They came home alone. They went back to work and tried to pick up their lives. And then along came the Cold War, where we all lived in fear of nuclear annihilation, and men and women served in the armed forces along places like the DMZ in Korea, along the border of East Germany. And we protected our country from communist aggression throughout the world. And then came Vietnam. Then came Vietnam, and it ripped this country apart because for a moment, we started to believe politicians who did not have our best interest at heart. Much of what we did in Vietnam was thankless. We came home to a country that, dis that didn't want us, that was embarrassed by us, and a lot of our fellow veterans told us to sh shut up and sit in the corner until we earned our way in. And we Vietnam veterans, we vowed that never again would one generation of veterans desert, desert another. And we haven't. And we have not. You look behind all the welcome home parades that we had in the 80s, in the 90s, especially in the 90s at the end of the Gulf War, and on into right now today, you scratch an organization, you're going to find a Vietnam veteran involved in it. Friendship Festival. How many veterans are involved in Friendship Festival right here? Let me see your hands, just see. Yeah, here we are. And now we have our sons and our grandsons fighting in the war on terror. I want to thank all of you guys that have served and ladies that are serving now and have served in the recent past in this war on terror. And again, our country is starting to get complacent. They're getting complacent. There hasn't been a terrorist attack here. And so a lot of our veterans that are coming home, they get the cursory, thanks for your service, and little else. And we've got to change that. See, we owe the men and women that serve our country every single day. Without them, you know, we are only one generation away. One. That's one generation away from losing this country. And there are people right now in America, in political office, who have sworn allegiance to the Constitution, who want to take away your free speech. We've got to teach our grandkids and our children about the Constitution of the United States. They're not getting it in school. They've got to learn what makes America great. We can't let politicians ruin this country like they have. If they're not going to do their job, they need to leave. I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats. They need to go. No more, no more can we have these politicians getting rich off of our tax dollars. No more. So many congressmen and, and women and so many senators and so many state reps, they go in like us and they come out driving Cadillacs. That can't be allowed to continue. We've got to take back control of our country and who better than we, the people of the United States of America.
And it's in places like this that we can do it. We can get together and we can talk about what needs to be done. We're all veterans. We all know how to do an operation. Let's plan it and go. Let's get her done. This is our country. It's time we take it back. Thank you. It's time for some Jonas Brothers. They're back. It's true. so many happy faces here because it's dusk at Friendship Fest 2019. Anthem's about to go on. Got some great dignitaries right, behind us. Hey, and brothers. you can hear in the background, we're gonna, but you can hear us better than that. So, okay. What do we got up top? What do you got for us? Hey, Bob Sankey, there, president of the festival. Right. What's, What's going on up there? Huh? What's going on up there? Well, they, they're drawing beach balls, frisbees, oh t-shirts. Oh my God. We got a t-shirt launcher. We just we're trying to entertain the crowd. Just well, enjoying so. life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me jump over there to the mayor. The mayor. Oh, sure. Oh, man, you know. Here. Yeah. Well, look we at all these. Come down, mayor. Uh, yeah. You know, whenever I think I come here, I'm gonna get surprised each year. You knock it. You knock it out of the park every yeah, year. And there's yeah, always the, something else. The, the, we have a great group of volunteers that work on this thing virtually year round, and oh, it's a great uh, weekend for the for the whole village. Kids come out, families come out. We got and what about the what about that parade? Oh, the big big parade tomorrow on Sunday, and uh, they'll, it's the biggest parade in Kinky County. People will be out in force and enjoying themselves. It's good to see the kids having a good time, families. 
very much a family event. I was just going to say this morning, I met you earlier at the fishing derby. Talk about a family event. Well, yeah, we're uh, the, the Boy Scouts host that every year, and I, I always help the Boy Scouts. And uh, one girl caught a $300 tag fish. I heard that. She was all excited about that and uh, gave out all kinds of prizes via the Friendship Festival. And, uh, Festival just keeps giving back and back and back Absolutely. to the community and, year and, and people year love to come here. I was oh, noticing do. this evening around six o'clock there was a non-stop flow of people coming from yeah. neighborhoods down the block. Down, yeah, it's total a, it's flow a very of safe, family-friendly event with all kinds of things going on to reach everybody. We got bingo going on in, a, in the uh, community room for a lot of the olders and seniors like to do that. So. They try to be all things, all people. I'm sorry if I'm looking away. We have beach balls and all kind of oh, yeah. all kind of fun stuff flying in the air above us. Uh, all kinds of free stuff flying around. You people love it. it. They love it. Mayor, thanks for another great year. Hey, thanks to the Friendship Festival Committee. They, they're the ones that carry the water and really do the work here. Okay. Good job. And I'm gonna jump over here because w- hey. without some cool media, without I some. In the River Valley, the best sound around oh, on yes. FM. Local radio, baby. Okay. It's what it's give, all about. Give us those stations again. Uh, WVLI, the Valley 92.7, and uh, River Country 103.7, 101.7, and WFAB 95.1. We are so excited to be here. It's the party in our own backyard. Literally, yes. literally. Uh, and I'm walking around. I'm seeing your your uh, your station's IDs all over the place. Oh yes, people even wearing t-shirts and hats. Absolutely, I mean, you're out there, brother. We are out there because uh, we are local radio. We love this every year. We love to come and support it and promote it. And we're just so excited. The weather has been fantastic. God bless the weather, <laughs> yes. whoever it was. Uh, so we're very excited to be here and uh, look looking forward to uh, many many years again. Okay, well, thanks for stepping Thank up. Thank you. We got a couple of guys with beach balls here. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, this, this, this How did is, you get that, brother? I mean, it, it's up there. Yeah. They, they, throw, they, they throw all this stuff up, they take it, and we just have a blast with these people. I've been here long enough for everybody loves us. When we get up there, they scream and holler, we get them going, and it's nothing better than the Friendship Festival. I noticed you have an arc to launching a t shirt. It sort of makes a big arc in the in the air, and then it comes down. Oh, yeah. And oh, you yeah. have people moving with anticipation. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you put them up straight, it'll, it'll get up and float. Or we yeah, can aim that yeah. gun. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, I've been doing it a long time. Bob's been here a long time. We all love this place, Bob, and we just keep doing it. I'm telling you, Bob, the crowd loves it. I, don't, I know it. You know. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why. You, 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 always, you know, always want to make it better. You could actually keep it the same forever, and they would still love you. You know what? We love it more. All right, <laughs> we do. Okay. We totally love this. We exciting people. Bring the families out. It's just really, really nice. He's right, and if, and if you can't see the passion in this man, this man, the mayor, uh, public relations at the radio station, the radio station over. You need to come to Bourbon A. You gotta learn how to do it because these guys know how to do it. Friendship Fest 2019. Any last words, gentlemen? No. Nope. We're gonna start next week, planning on next year. Did you hear that? They're yep. planning next week for the 2021. You better be here. Come what on. do you say, man? It'll be bigger and better than ever. It always is. And you know what? Hey, hey, He's hey. telling the truth. Whoa. We whoa. got 360 days, 20 hours, and 13 minutes till next year. <laughs> He's got it down in the midst. I'm afraid to ask him the seconds. Oh, no, it's on, He's got that too. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So come out and see us. Come yes. on down. Okay. Thanks again. Woo! What the hell's going on over oh here? Oh my God! Another band. What is going okay. on? If you were on stage and heard some great announcing and keeping the bands moving on and off that stage, this is the man. This is the man. If you're uh, not down here. You're not having fun, baby. And you know what? Like we just said, make the date in 2020. It's the same time every year. If you don't be here, you're missing something big. Absolutely. Friendship Fest 2020 right here in Bourbon A. We love you, Bourbon A. You got it. Let's give it a bye-bye, baby. See you next year. All right. Very good.